Welcome to the Fortitude Podcast. I am in the studio, but this podcast is not. I'm super excited to bring you the second student takeover for the Fortitude Podcast. This one taken over by Bulldog, Lexi Lloyd. Lexi is graduating in the spring. She is a senior at South High, and she approached me last fall about doing a podcast. And she's going to talk with us by talking with her peers, her teachers, her principal, her counselor, about what it means to be a leader. So here's Lexi. Hi, my name is Lexi Lloyd, and I wanted to interview my peers um, and also some of the administrators at my school at Fort Zumwalt South about what leadership is to them. So I went and I did these little interviews, and that is what you guys are about to hear. You'll hear me ask questions like, what is leadership? What are you involved in? And how can students and teachers come together to become to make the school better? So I hope you guys enjoy and listen. Hi, I'm Anaya Clark. I'm Kylie Bates. My name is Bria Johnson. My name is Josh Atherton, and I am a senior here at Fort Zumwalt South. Josh, what are your roles at South High School? What all are you involved in here? I, I play uh, basketball and I play football. I was uh, the cap, uh, captain on the football team for two years, and I, I play basketball as well. Um, I'm, uh, I'm part of the uh, Empowering Young Men group. I am one of five officers, single class officers. I am also an Empowering Young Woman. Um, I'm also a PPI uh, mentor, so I help tutor and, you know, help the fresh, incoming freshmen. Hi, I'm Anna Hart, and I am a senior from South High. I am Sunny Nguyen. I'm a sophomore here at South High School. So at South, I'm part of our school's diversity club, NHS, along with Empowering Young Women. Hi, I'm Jenny Hendricks. I'm a junior at South High. Hello, my name is Lucas Newman, and I'm a student, or I'm a senior here at South High School. Hi, Lucas. Um, what are some leadership roles you play here at South? So at South, I'm a mentor in the adaptive culinary where I just help the special needs students cook every week. Hi, my name is Bridget Herwick. I go to Fort Smolt South High School. Um, I play uh, varsity tennis, varsity basketball, and varsity soccer. That is a lot. Yeah. How do you balance all of that? Uh, time management, I've learned how to manage stuff throughout the years. Do you play like leadership roles on those teams? Do you kind of, you do? Okay, Ex tell me about that. Uh, basketball especially, I just like be the leader. I'm a point guard, so getting people in the right spots, run the right plays. So tell me, what is your definition of a leader? What kind of traits do people need to have to be a leader? Um, me personally, I feel like being a leader is all about sacrifice. A leader doesn't mean that you have to have everything your way. So I really appreciate and value a leader who makes sure everybody can be heard. And yes, that's awesome. Um, they should be able to work with anyone, um, regardless of who they are, um, and be able to step up when it's needed. Okay, Pierre. Hi, I'm Kristen Sattler. I teach English here at Fort Small South High. Think, how can you build students to be leaders here yourself? Like, how can you do that? Uh, I think a lot of it is modeling um, for teachers and sponsors to, to model the behaviors that they're wanting or the um, roles that they want students to kind of take over. Um, I think the leadership class allows kids some opportunity, some freedom uh, to be able to come up with an idea, come up with a plan, execute it, and, and keep going with that. So uh, I, th I think a lot of it is like working together as a community uh, and then once students start to feel comfortable uh, maybe working in small groups or with a, a teacher or sponsor um, then they can kind of take off with something on their own. Uh, can you tell me some of the things that you're involved in here? Uh, I am involved in volleyball or at least trying to right now. Okay. But for now as the leadership role in Miss Sattler's class um, the leader of my group and Okay, cool. So as the leader in your group, what, what class is it first? What kind? This is English 2. So what do you kind of have to do in your class? So being a manager and a leader in this class, it's like being a manager of being a job. Okay. So what are some like activities that you like have to lead in? Well, it's almost like basically everything, but like it's mainly directing roles. Okay from person to person, giving them jobs to do. So Anna, what is your definition of a leader? What do you think some traits of a leader should be? 
Some traits would be confidence. You have to be able to speak up and find your voice so that others can hear you. I would just say a kind heart too and just being kind and respectful to your teachers and the student body so that they also can respect you. And my definition of a leader is just someone who is able to find their voice and try to encourage and influence others to do good in the community. I'm Ryan Rapp, Activities Coordinator here at Fort Zumwalt South. Hi, Mr. Rapp. Um, can you explain to us exactly what you do here? Yeah, I am the Activities Coordinator, so I oversee all of our sports and all of our clubs and activities. So we have about 18 sports mm -hmm. that we do throughout the school year, and then approximately 40 clubs that, uh, that meet throughout the school year after school. Hello, I'm Audrey Smith, and I'm a senior at Fort Zumwalt South. I am Raquel Ritter, I'm a sophomore at Fort Zumwalt South High School. Hi, I'm Trina Gentry, and I'm a sophomore at Fort Zumwalt South High. Hi, I'm Lucy Pham, and I'm a senior at Fort Zumwalt South. Ron Erickson, a senior at South High School. Okay, what are some leadership roles you play here at South? I'm the uh, captain for varsity wrestling. Okay, how are some ways that you have to lead your team? Uh, we got to make sure everybody's on weight, make sure everybody shows up to practice, and is in a good mindset to be able to wrestle. Do you tell me, what is your definition of a leader? What, is, what are some traits that one should show being a leader? Uh, being a leader, it really takes a lot of patience. Like, you have to be able to, you know, sometimes things don't go your way. You have to be mm -hmm. able to, like, work around it, adapt, and be patient. Because things will get done at some point, even if they don't go exactly as you, how you plan. Okay. And you have to have good communication to, like, talk to people, obviously, and get your point across, get your ideas across. Someone that who like listens and comprehends like what other people are saying, but also has the ability to step up and be respectful at the same time. What I learned about being a leader is not about like yourself. It's mm -hmm. actually about how you help others and how you connect. Everyone, I believe, is a leader themselves. Mm -hmm. And um, how we all interact with each other, how we all communicate, how we all like, cooperate to work on projects and stuff, that is being a leader. And I think being a leader is a role player as well as like a team player. I'm Lacey Lukowski, Dr. Lukowski. I'm a counselor here at South High School. Hi, Dr. Lukowski. First, just want to say we love you very much and we appreciate all you do, genuinely. Um, the first question I wanted to ask you is, what are all your roles here at South? What do you do here? Well... Most importantly, the school counselor role. So I work with students on their academics and their college and career planning, so what they're going to do after high school. Mm -hmm. And just um, social-emotional stuff, so like yeah. crisis, drama. Okay, one more question for you, Dr. Lukowski. How do you think students and administrators, teachers, you know, um, all the adults in our school can come together and make our school better? Well, I'm going to tie it back to being open-minded. Mm -hmm. Have being confident and just making sure everybody feels safe. So, like, you have no idea what's going on at home right. or outside of these walls with people. So I think teachers, students, administrators, counselors, everybody just needs to give everybody else some grace. You. Who are some teachers, counselors, administrators, anybody here that you think help build our students to be leaders? Um, Dr. Lukowski, Ms. Osterholt, Ms. Womack, Ms. Sattler, and Ms. Horton. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, to me, I always come to my favorite teacher, Miss Christensen, because she, okay. uh, she used to be a working librarian. She's involved with so many things. Like she's a coach in like basketball and stuff. So she always know like what's around a community. Yeah. And yeah, I think she is definitely one. Mrs. Sattler is a really good teacher. She's involved with a lot of clubs that I'm in. So is Mrs. Horton, Mrs. Rose. Um, Mrs. Sanders is a really good sponsor as well. Miss Wilson, who teaches government and AP Psych, does a really good job at making sure students stay on top of what they need to, as well as becoming a leader and someone who can not only stay on top of their own stuff, but also guide other people when they need it. Hi, I'm Kevin Grower, Dr. Grower, principal of South High School. Hi, Dr. Grower. First of all, we all love you so much, and we are very appreciative that you are our new principal. Speaking of, how do you like it so far, being the new principal at South? That's very kind of you to say that. Uh, I love it. You know, my first semester here has been a joy for me to really the people of what make any place special. You know, the students and the staff, the admin team, the counselors, everybody's just been so good. Uh, support staff, custodians, I don't want to leave anybody out. So I just enjoy, I enjoy being around people, I enjoy learning from them, I enjoy seeing how things are done differently, and 
you know, just being open to that, you know, kind of my personal model is let's be curious and not judgmental and hope that people will give that back to me. You know, I'm a big believer in you, what you give away, you get back in life. And so trying to bring that type of energy. So how do you think that teachers can build and create or administrators, leaders in this school? Hmm. Yeah, it's a, I mean, there's our, there are some formal pathways to leadership. With very organ, you know, we have organizations, the diversity club or NHS club or your know, student council. Um, are, I'm forgetting other groups right now off the top of my head. That's so okay. Forgive me. There are way more. But those are great. Those are formal pathways to do it. But there's also lots of un, you know, tapped leadership skills in students because I think everybody in, plays a role in that. Right. And really in the classroom settings where it all kind of starts because you know our school is as effective as its hourly lessons and the relationships that happen within those kind of guide everything. So you know when teachers offer students a voice in their class, when students speak up, uh, when they participate, when they're good to each other, to me that's good leadership too. Mm -hmm. And you know the best example is the example, right? So when people tend to follow what's in front of them, subconsciously and consciously, so we want to always have a good example. So if you're being a good citizen, you're working hard, you're doing what you have to do, you're waiting your turn in line to the cafeteria, for example, you're being respectful to others, you're a great leader. Yeah. And people will look at you and, oh man, I kind of... You know, I want what they got. I want what they have. And that's that's something I, I aspire to be and that I want the school. I want people to look at our school and say, oh, I want to be like them. So it's as small as just doing something, I guess, right and respectful and kind that kind of sets you out to being a leader, not just like a follower. Because you don't have to be the head of, like you said, like student council or the head of diversity club. Like you don't have to be the head of anything. It's just those small things mm -hmm. that people kind of look at you and recognize and say, okay, I like what they did there, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, and it's not always the loudest voice, and sometimes right. the loudest voice is important in the leadership. And, but a lot of times the negative voices tend to ring the loudest, so, mm -hmm. and they don't represent the whole, typically. Right. So we have to temper that and say, well, yes, they might have a point, we got to listen and learn from those negative voices, but we also got to realize that there is a 90% of the voices that haven't said a word that are not saying that. So we must balance all of that, too, because we're supposed to represent everybody. And not just a small faction here or this faction there or this group of people or that group of people or this club or this sport or this, you know, a group. I so agree. our our job is to be, you know, everybody's I'm everybody's principal, you know, I'm just not for myself. Mm -hmm. For the teachers, I am for them. But not just for the students, I'm for them and the teachers. I'm for everybody. So yeah. you know, when we share that love and we share the um <clears throat> the goal of let's be good to each other. Um, let's be strong, let's be relentless, let's be who we are, but let's be a little bit better than we were before. With all this being said, first of all, I hope you guys enjoyed what you heard, but this goes to show that leadership comes in so many different shapes and sizes. It can be as big as, like say, stated before, the president of NHS or just being somebody who is there to help out in the classroom. It can be the little things, it can be the big things, it all matters. Um... And it's important that we continue this and that the cycle of leadership continues to continue to make South better and schools all around the world better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you all have a great day. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Lexi. We really appreciate the time and effort that you put into telling that story. And we appreciate all the Bulldogs who were willing to share their perspectives on leadership. Our leader, Superintendent Dr. Paul Myers, will be back in the next episode of the Fortitude Podcast, along with three to know about kindergarten enrollment and a couple of other tricks I might have up my sleeve. So this has been the Fortitude Podcast, Bulldog Takeover. Thanks for listening.